Jude Ivey for Indian Club and running a second meet of the year here at Sandhurst Farm. Sandhurst Bridge Farm for Indian. So it's always come back here on the 5th of July. The 12th of July sees the Grass Track Sidecar Association's second meet of the year at Lowfield Heath near Gatwick Airport and many of you were out there last Sunday. And what a nice, nice meeting we had there. So the first race gets underway without anybody telling me. A top miles goes into the lead with Billy Penfold in second place and then Luke Packer in third. Luke Packer in third. Penfold unfortunately being left on the line. But the race carries on. Nice tight line around that turn for Bob and Keith Miles and Luke Patchell and Julian Brown is trying to go around the outside. And Billy Penfold goes down. I think he's just had a gearbox. But Tony Penfold joins the fray. After having troubles on the start line. Now it's like his chains come up on the first turn. So Bob and Keith Miles then. Well into the from 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in second place and very hot for you. Might go to the outside and very close to the back of Tom Miles' mud guard and uh, turning you in the passenger a bit of a fright. Comes up on the inside this time and gets past, goes straight through on the inside. A good bit of ride in there from Luke Patchell and Julian Brown as they slide across the grass on the exit of that turn. Bob and Keith Miles struggle to come back on turn. One lap left remaining in this challenge. Only two outfits to make it. Holding on to a good second spot, but they do seem to be losing a few yards as they enter that last turn. Flat out round that turn they come in, and Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in Chris and me. The ball card with a win. And in second place, Paul and Keith Miles. Bad luck there for the Penfold crews who uh, unfortunately failed to finish. And let's hope they get those outfits running again in time for the second leg. Official result with you in a moment. For number 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in second place at 108, Bob and Keith Miles. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 42.36. From the top, 808, 108. 1 minute 42.36. Well, looking on to race two, the left-hand side cars coming to line. Got a few more in this. We're looking for William Penfold and Nigel Shaw. And one, two, six, Lenny Bora and Martin Cuff. One, seven, four, Duncan Fish and Danny Malone. One, seven, three, John Fish and Gary Moore. One, five, one, Graham Hilton and Bob Aker. Two, five, one, John Arnott and Russell Steele. 24, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers. So, the full line up there, and away they go. Bill Penfold scorched off that line, but uh, Tommy Penfold's gone right with him. And Tommy Penfold with Liam Shivers take it into the first turn. But Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw are not pursued in second. And then the British champion, John Fish and Gary Moore, hold into third place there at the moment. With then Graham Hilton and Tom Aker. And then John Arnott and Russell Steele. And then Lenny Moore and Martin Cuff. Then Duncan Fish and Danny Malone. So those positions remaining unchanged at the moment as Tom Penfold flies on in the lead. It's Tom Penfold and Liam Shivers from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw from John Fish and Gary Moore there in third place. And it looks to me like Tom's coming a little bit away from Bill at the moment. So a few leads on course. Around that turn they come here in full flight, look over their shoulder, and yes, they're actually putting it away from Bill in second place. It's Tom Penfold and Liam Shivers from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Then John Fish and Gary Moore. Graham Hilton and Bob Ager, uh, John Harnock, Russell Steele, Lenny Bohr and Martin Carr. We've got somebody coming. John Fish we now lose. He goes on to the centre green with problems. So it's all happening here at Richmond. 24. Tom Penfold and Liam Shivers on their last man. Head Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. From Graham Hilton and Bob Ager. Graham Hilton looks like he's finding some problems with his own. Then John Arnott, Russell Steele, then Manny Moore and Martin Carr. John Fish limping round, jumps to the point. 
quick change to the checkered flag then for Harry the flag man and uh, number 24 Tom Penfold Liam Shivers win with Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw in a comfortable second position ignoring John Fishes and that in the rear 1-5-1 then Graham Hilton and Bob Aker then John Arnold and Russell Steele Penny Boer and Martin Carr bring up the rear official result with you in a moment Tom Penfold and Liam Chiffers. In second place was number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. In third place, number 151, Graham Helton and Bob Ager. In fourth place, 251, John Arnold and Russell Steele. In fifth place, 126, Martin Cuff. Sorry, <laughs> Lenny Bora and Martin Cuff. And in sixth place, number 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. No seventh finisher, the winner's time there, 1 minute 41.15. From the top then, 24, 2, 151, 251, 126, 173. No other finishers. 1 minute 41.15, 250cc solos now coming to the line. Those super fast quarter leaders come out to do battle and what a good lineup we have here this afternoon. Non-runner in this one though is number 84, Phil Morris. Number 84, Phil Morris, a non-starter. But we've got Alan Dan, Stephen Hines, Ian Rutter, John Dormer, Dave Mears, Terry Howe, Mark Giles, and Terry Giles. And on the line, they're on the starters' orders, and away they go. The nice even break now as they come down that first straight. Very tight as they go past the commentary box, but John Dormer just getting his nose in front. Paul Stephen Hines is coming up on the inside. And the race continues. Stephen Hines is now trying to go up the inside of John Dormer and he goes straight past on the inside. Locks it all up sideways and waves goodbye. 23, Stephen Hines from 76, John Dormer from Ian Rutter from David Mears. This time, John Dormer gets on the inside. Rose the dirt in the face of Stephen Hines. Just a little bit wider and Stephen Hines is pushing hard all the way. And Ian Rutter holding on to third spot, wondering when he's going to get a look in. Stephen Hines has gone up the inside again on that corner. John Dormer's gone a little bit wide and Ian Rutter's come up the inside as well. So it's now Stephen Hines, Ian Rutter, John Dormer, David Mears, Terry Howe, Terry Kyle. Mark Giles and Alan Dan, so the race continues. On the front line we have Stephen Hines from the Eastern Centre. Knows it extremely well on that Yamaha. Turns on the power and comes over in full flight. Tommy and Rutter on the Honda in second place. Then John Dormer, I think he's on Honda this year. Then David Mears, then Terry Howe, then Terry Giles. Lead and John Dormer feeling right out of favour at the moment. I think he's got a few mechanical problems there. He seems to be getting slower each lap. Round that top turn they come. The checkered flag away from the first 250 win of the afternoon. Goes number 23, Stephen Hines. From Ian Rutter. From John Dormer. David Mears. Terry Howe. And Terry Giles. A little gap back in for Mark Giles. And Alan Dan. Official result with you in a moment. Win there for number 23, Stephen Hines. In second place, number 9, Ian Rutter. In third place, 76, John Dormer. In fourth place, number 139, David Mears. In fifth place, number 32, Terry Howe. In sixth place, number 300, Terry Giles. Seventh place, 26, Mark Giles. And eighth place, number 20, Alan Dan. No ninth finisher. The winner's time, 1 minute 35.88. From the top, 23, 9, 76, 139, 32, 300, 26, and 20. No ninth finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute, 35.88. Two fifties again on the line there, and another good line up this time. Mike Appleton, Darren Bishop, Bernie Edwards, Stephen King, Stephen Syrett, Arthur Living, Zian the Amis, and Jason Stott. A good national line-up here. Riders from all over the country come down to Frittenden to do battle for the 250 Frittenden Flyer. <laughs> That's race five. This is race four. Let's set the deliberate mistake, see if you're awake. Off they go then, 229, Richie Knight, local man from Headcorn. Used to live at Frittenden and used to be called again. Frittenden Flyer and he's run away in this one. 
first ride, I believe, in the 1992 season. Be nice to christen it with a win. That's Richard Smith chasing him hard there in second place. So, 229, Richie Knight, 33, Richard Smith, 44, Dean Cameo. And number four. So this is back there for second place. So Richard Smith now comes right up on the back wheel of Richie Knight. Will it be enough to get there? Richie Knight takes a nice tight line and Richard Smith's gone flying right around the outside. It's neck and neck as they come around that turn, but Richie Knight still holds a slight advantage and crosses this line. Two laps left in this battle and it's Richie Knight. From Richie Smith. Back wheel and he goes up to the inside this time and he's through. Will he stay there? It's Richard Smith from Richie Knight. Richard Smith goes wide, Richie Knight tucks up on the inside, but it's Richard Smith from Richie Knight. From Dean Camier. From Colin Howe. From Dave Beacon. So Richard Smith got it all his own way now as they come round that last turn for the last time. Distinctive red, white and blue comes around there in first place, very patriotic. Look at this battle coming up for second place, who's going to get that one? Very tight across the line there. I'll leave the decision to the lap for us. Uh, what a fantastic race that was. And congratulations on Richard Smith for a fine win. Official result in a moment. Richard Smith in second place, number 229, Richard Knight. In third place, number 44, Dean Camier. In fourth place, number 34, Colin Howe. In 5th place, number 40, David Bleakin. In 6th place, number 49, John Pelcher. And in 7th place, number 61, Colin Beeching. The winner's time, 1 minute 37.38. From the top, 33, 229, 44, 34, 40, 49, 61. Winner's time, 1 minute 37.38. Now race 5, I read the riders out for just a minute. And I can hear them revving up on the line there and uh, underway they are. Another nice even break as they head down towards the first turn. It's like Darren Bishop that takes an early advantage. But Jason Scott is right there with him. And Mike Appleton is struggling to go around the outside. So Darren Bishop on the inside. Comes out of that number. Mike Appleton right through the middle there. Don't quite know how he did that. Can we have an action replay? The commentator missed it. So from third up to first in one easy movement, young Mike Appleton. Really going for it this afternoon. So it's Mike Appleton from Darren Bishop and Jason Scott, right side by side there. But Darren Bishop, the pair have problems and uh, pulls off the third. Yeah. Nine five eight. Then Mike Appleton. Just look at that boy go. He's been having some good rides in recent weeks and he's continuing his way this afternoon. Jason Scott goes into trouble with that KTM. That's bad luck for the young um, lad. Covered a lot of miles to be with us here this afternoon. Mike Appleton leads, Ian the is in second place, Stephen Cyrus in third. Jason Scott's got that KTM going again. And it's Steve King. Darren Bishop back in the fray. After leading this race early on and going into problems, he's now back in with a chance. But he's a, a long, long way from winning. The last lap play goes. It's 558. Mike Appleton on the Honda. From Ian the is now up to second place. Then Stephen Cyrus. Then Jason Scott, then Steve King, then Darren Bishop, and Arthur Lewis coming up the rear. So the last turn for the last time, and what a big lead this man's got. 558, Mike Appleton takes the checkers flag. Second place looks like going to Stephen Syrett. Third place, Jason Scott. And Ian the Amos is really running with that thing to try and get some points by crossing that line. Official result in a moment. Four, number five, five, eight, Mike Appleton in second place, number 62, Stephen Sarnick in third place, number 94, Jason Stott in fourth place, number 89, Darren Bishop in fifth place, 66, Steve King sixth place, 71, Arthur Livins seventh place, number 183 Ian the Amis, no eighth finisher the winner's time, 1 minute 36.66 from the top, 558 62, 94 89, 66 71 and 183 
length finish of the winner's time, 1 minute 36.66. Prepare across the track, we can see the right hand is coming. Right hand side cars, it is in, and number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Whale. 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pitek. No 38, Richard Brown. But 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Cooper Smith. 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. No 31, Dave and Jeff Winch. But number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny. That's the minor for race number six. They're on the line. Here the Res Rise, the tape's car, and on the way down that first straight, bit of a wheelie there for Jerry Adams, but it's Tim Bennett that makes the break. So Tim Bennett heads into that turn first with Dave Steer and Jerry Adams hard on his heels. And then Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock bringing up the rear. Dave Steer coming right up on the back with Tim Bennett there, right on the inside. And Adam Cobra Smith. And then Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. Jerry Adams fighting for that position with Kevin Simmons at the back there and Jerry Adams goes by on the outside. It's Tim Bennett over the beans. It's Tim Bennett with Jason Bennett. Colvin, Adam Cobra Smith in third and Jerry Adams, Sean Pittock in fourth, making their way up through the field into third place ahead of Pete Colvin. So they're pretty close still now after all these maps. Tim Bennett eases up a little bit too much into that turn. I feel that Dave Steer is there and waiting to pound. Jerry Adams is thrown in sideways behind them. Then Pete Colvin and Adam Cobra Smith, then Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. What a tight finish after four laps of racing. Official result with you in a moment. A fine win for number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny. In second place, number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Weil. In third place, number 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. In fourth place, 99, Peter Colvin and Adam Cover smith And in fifth place, number 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. The winner's time, 1 minute 27.14. From the top, 12, 17, 55, 99, 32. 1 minute, 27.14. Staying with the right-hand side cars as we turn over the page and we get ten, uh, 46, Andy Nourish. Andy Nourish and Mick Redhill. Number one, Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. 97, Mick O'Donnell and Guy Aldhouse. Number nine, Martin Baker and Shane Cann. And number 60, Bob and Paul Baysby. No number 15, Ivor Matthews in this one. He's a non-starter this afternoon. So five outfits come to the line to do battle. You see Bob and Tony Bays, we're just getting the machine into line now. Looks like there's only four on the line as they leave that line and head towards the first turn. It's Bob and Paul Baysby that have really left the rest of them for dead. Up to that first turn they go then, and Bob and Paul both think. Smith. And Mick O'Donnell and Guy Oldhouse bringing up the rear. So Bob and Paul both think got it all their own way at the moment. But Martin Baker's in hot pursuit as is. Look at that, Bob Cameron going right around the outside of Martin Baker and into that turn. Now as they enter that turn, they're very fast indeed, they're trying to go around the outside, but now cut back to the inside and wait for Bob to go wide, does he? He doesn't, Bob's got the current to this one, but very fast, Rob Cameron, hard on his heels, as they come around that turn, it's a battle for glory all the way. Rob Cameron comes up on the inside. Cross that line versus side by side. Rob Cameron just making the advantage into that next turn. So it's Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith from Rob and Paul Baisley. From Martin Baker and Shane Cann who look to be losing a few yards in the fight. And Mick O'Donnell and Guy Oldhouse bringing up the rear there. So the last turn, the last line, this is making the main ready. Come on, the winners of that race. Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. From Bob Baisley. Bob Baisley. 
crosses the line there, 86, Paul Hurry wins. Ron Phil Morris in second place. Then Simon Giddings. Then Colin White. Duncan Tullis and Jason will be crossing the line side by side. Then Robert Ben Wheel. And then we seem to lose Paul Steinbritz. He's gone and retired to the pits early. Official result in a moment. 86, Paul Hurry in second place, number 84, Phil Morris. In third place, number 179, Simon Giddings. In fourth place, number 31, Colin White. In fifth place, number 74, Duncan Tullers. In sixth place, number 75, Jason Wilby. In seventh place, number 39, Robert Edwith. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 27.44. From the top, 86, 84, 179. Not sure what happened there, but Steve Wilson leads the pack into the first turn with Kevin Martin on the inside. And there's Steve Wilson. And there's that just gone on the outside of Kevin Buck in those bright coloured letters. Didn't quite catch who he was first time round. Trevor Banks now gets underway. And decides not to bother. Well, that's number two. Peter Carr. In those fancy letters. Peter Carr does his speedway. Up there at Sheffield. But that's his grass track. Here at Christmas. So it's Peter Carr. Making the grass fly as he comes out of that turn. It's Peter Carr at these. On the GM. From number seven. David Carr in second place. Then Kevin Bunn. Then Steve Wilson. Then Alan Harlan. Steve Tyler out there bringing up the rear. Round they come then. Mike Hill. Going for gold. The last man flag in front of him. Peter Carr leads. From Mr. Clark, from Kevin Park, Alan Harlow, Steve Wilson, Andy Stevens. And Steve Tidewell again. So around they come then, the checkered flag this time, a win for Peter Carr. Followed by David Clark, Kevin Buck and Alan Harlow. Oh, we've certainly got some good class riders here this afternoon and I'm sure we're going to be in for an exciting final. But what disaster there struck Trevor Banks in his first ride. For number two, Peter Carr. In second place was number seven, David Clark. In third place, three, two, seven, Kevin Buck. In fourth place, seven, two, one, Alan Harmer. In fifth place, 374 Adrian Stevens. In sixth place, 214 John Wilson. In seventh place, number one, Stuart Dempsey. In eighth place, number 105, Steve Tideswell. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 29.49. From the top, 2, 7, 327, 721, 374, 214, 1 and 105. 1 minute 29.49. On with race number 11. Two non-starters, Jason Jennett and Mike Trevett. Additional runner, 69, Fiery Hilaire. Right here they go down the first straight, Fiery Hilaire is there in the lead. Fiery Hilaire leads the the second spot. to third. Right, we've got a runaway victor out the front in the Frenchman, Fiery Hilaire. He's gone very wide though, he's knocking up that bike. Mike Trevitt, no not Mike Trevitt, he's a hot starter. Around they come then, flat out, it's 69, Fiery Hilaire from Chris Underhill, from Martin Jacobs, from Steve Wilson, David Mears, Paul Watson, Justin Shaw. Flat out round that turn he comes, it's number 69, Fiery Hilaire starts his last lap, from Martin Jacobs, from Chris Underhill. David Mears, Paul Watson, Justin Shaw, Chris Warby, Dean Norton, Steve Mangan. 
Matthew Lewin, those three getting rather spread out as they continue their way round. 808 Julian, uh, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in just a bit wide there, Bob and Keith Miles aiming now to go round the outside as they enter that turn. Bob and Keith Miles holding a good second place, former British champions, the Miles boys, father and son, Bob and Keith. Last that flag then for Luke Patchell and Julian Browning, followed by Bob and Keith Miles, and Billy Van and Matthew Billy. Turn they come then, winding up that motor, flat out as they head towards the finish. Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in from Bob and Keith Miles in second place. Billy Benfold and Matthew Lewin taking third place. Number 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in. In second place, number 108, Bob and Keith Miles. In third place, number 23, Billy Penfold and Matthew Lewin. The winner's time, 1 minute 44.24. Quickly, 808, 108 and 23, 1 minute 44.24. Race 8, race 8, Clark of the course's decision is a result will stand at the end of two laps. So race 8, if you want to go back in your programme, was a win for 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. In second place, number 87, Richard Jenner and Nick Waters. In third place, number three, Colin Hutton and Ian Salter. In fourth place, number 82, Stephen Turner, Tony Grace being in fifth place, number 86. So this is race number 14, obviously race 8 is old. Liam Chivers, one win to their credit already this afternoon. Here comes their second. Again, they had their Uncle Bill Penfold with Nigel Shaw in the chair in second place. Then the reigning British champion, John Fish and Gary Moore. Then Lenny Moore and Mark Cup. Then Brian Hill and Bob Aker. So, field getting rather spread out already. Tom Penfold really got the bit between his teeth this afternoon. A win in the first leg, halfway now to a win in the second leg. It's Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers, Tom Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, from John Fish and Gary Moore. Then Lenny Bora and Martin Cup, then Graham Hill and Bob Ager. I'll leave that decision in the middle to our lap scorers. Meanwhile, race number eight. Race number eight, if you didn't get it, was 24, 87, 3, 82 and 86. Of course, no time for that one. It's number two, William Penfold and Nigel Shaw. In third place, 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Fourth place, number 126, Martin Cuff. Sorry, <laughs> he was on the chair. Lenny Borer and Martin Cuff. Fifth place, number 151, Graham Hilton and Bob Ager. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 40.64. Quarter litres away again, it's race number 15. Stephen Hines, previous race winner, goes into the lead in this one. Ian Rutter in hot pursuit in second race, and then Richard Smith, another race winner from leg one. He's holding third. Dean Cammy is there in fourth. Stephen 
Sirens and 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 Sirens and
Terry Howe, sixth base, number 26, Mark Giles, and seventh base, number 66, Steve King. Number eight, finisher, the winner's time, the fastest, 2.50 times so far this afternoon, 1 minute, 35.17. And away they go on race number 17 already. Mike Appleton, another previous race winner here this afternoon, takes up the lead into that first turn. Then it's all system cars. Jason Scott also wants that lead. Jason Scott on the KTM, Mike Appleton on the Honda. And it looks like Harry Giles in third place, trying to split up that front pair. So round they come then, flat out and going for gold. 94, Jason Scott from 558, Mike Appleton. The NBA is going out with problems there. Had misfortune to break down in his first ride and uh, not have much better luck in this one. So that's how they come around that turn and it's number 94, Jason Scott the lead from Mike Appleton in second. Tom Jerry Giles, David Bleakin. Of a muchness and quite close together, considering the distance already completed in this race, and uh, Ian the Amos is not having a happy day at all. Real that turn, then flat out they come. The last lap flag is out. Very close to the swing, Mike Appleton and Jason Scott. As Mike Appleton is chipped for the inside line on this turn, the inside of Jason Scott takes the lead. Can he hold it? It's Mike Appleton from Jason Scott. Watch him around this last turn. Winding that machine up as he comes around and he has lost it, he's overcooked it and in goes Jason Stott. Well that's bad luck for those two, but David Leakin picks up a win he didn't expect to get. And then Terry Giles and then Darren Bishop. And let's hope that everything's all alright on that uh, fallen rider front over there. And uh, not looking too clever for those two boys. Neither of them having got up yet. Winding that machine up as he comes around and he has lost it, he's overcooked it and in goes Jason Stott. Well that's bad luck for those two, but David Leakin picks up a win he didn't expect to get. And then Terry Giles and then Darren Bishop. And let's hope that everything's all alright on that uh, fallen rider front over there. And uh, not looking too clever for those two boys. Neither of them having got up yet. As Ian Amis comes around to complete race distance. Coming to the line, we're back with the right-hand side cars. Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie with one win to their credit so far this afternoon. Bob Baseby with Paul Baseby at second place to their credit this afternoon. Then number 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And number 55, Cherry Adams and Sean Pettick. Don't think we're going to get Richard Brown and we're not going to get David Winch. So, off they go down that first straight. Bob and Paul Bates, we take a lead into the first turn with Tim Bennett and Jason Benny in hot pursuit in second place and then Jerry Adams and Sean Pettick chasing hard in second place. So it's Bob and Paul Baseby from the Seven Oaks area in the lead, local South East Superman lead from Jerry Adams to Sean Pettick for South East Superman. As Jerry Adams takes the lead into that turn, it's Jerry Adams from, and Sean Pittock from Bob and Paul Baseby, from Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie, and then Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. Well, the front two and the back two are having a great battle between themselves, but there's a bit of a gap between them. Around they come, then the last man flag goes for Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock from Bob and Paul Baseby, from Tim Bennett and Jason Benny, and then Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. Jerry Adams and Sean Pitt have been coming round that last turn for the last time and Bob and Paul Bates holding on in the second place. Second flag goes in the wind for Jerry Adams and Sean Pitt at their first of the afternoon. Bob and Paul Bates be in second. Two minutes, Jason Benny takes third. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane in fourth. Official result in a moment. 455, Jerry Adams and Sean Pitt in second place. Number 60, Bob and Paul Bates be. Michael Matthews and Mick Dales are non starters, but we should get Colin Hutton. And Ian Salter, Richard Jenner, and Nick Waters, Gary Moon and Steve Robbins, 
Peter Colvin and Adam Gober Smith. No Neville Penfold and Paul Randall. I'm sorry to add. But well, three horse race and away they go and it's Pete Colvin and Adam Cobra Smith that take up the reins down that first straight. From Richard Jenner and Nick Walters in second. And as I said that, Colin Hutton and Ian Sorter came through from the Colvin and Adam Cobra Smith going for gold. From Colin Hutton and Ian Sorter from Richard Jenner. And Nick Walters holding on to third. Those outfits remaining in their same positions. Round they come. Back out around there, so they're going to be winding up the motor. Pete Nolan, Adam Cobra Smith, from Colin Hutton and Ian Salter, from Richard Jenner, and Nick Waters. So, Pete Colvin having happier times in this one than he did in his earlier race. But no doubt those points will be handy on his way to the final this afternoon. And Ian Salter in second place. And then Richard Jenner and Nick Walters holding on to a credible third. Points make prizes and the prizes are placed in the final, so grab them while you can get it. Adam Cobra Smith wins from Colin Hutton and Ian Salter. Jenner and Nick Waters bringing up the rear. Win four, number 99, Peter Colvin, Adam Coversmith. In second place, number three, Colin Hutton, Ian Salter. And in third place, 87, Richard Jenner and Nick Waters. No other finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 25, point seven nine. From the top, 99, 3, 87. No other finishers, 1 minute 25, point seven nine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon, Brian Humphrey has uh, decided to sponsor the fastest time of the day in the 500cc class and has presented a trophy for that purpose. That's Brian Humphreys, our regular grass track supporter here in the South East. The fastest time of the day trophy in the 500cc Soto class. So it'll be interesting to see who gets that. A quick look into my program. Richard Musson has 132.14. But, number two, Peter Carr has 129.49. So, Peter Carr in the driving seat for that trophy at the moment. But this is grass track racing and anything can happen. Race number 20 then on the line. Away they go, down that first straight. We're underway yet again. And a good start this time seems to be for... <laughs> All chopped and changed there, didn't it? Now I've got to put my brain back in. Got Rob Orton in the game. Then going for Tom Martin. Then going down. 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 Then Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. And then Mick O'Donnell and the guy Oldhouse. As they all come round there, safe and sound. Rob Wilson and Vince Jones from Staplehurst. Number one. Three four miles distance from where we stand today. So they're over there. They're winning. Then Rob Smith and uh, Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. And then Mick O'Donnell and Guy Oldhouse bringing up the rear. And at 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones holding a good lead at the moment. Rob Wilson and Vince Jones holding a good lead at the moment. From Martin Baker and Shane Cannon. Now look at that battle developing between those three outfits, all battling for that second place. Can you name the man that will definitely get over this line first out of those three? I certainly don't want to try. Round they come, it's 24. Robert and Vince Jones, they look easy winners in this system. Winners, they're going to get second. Look at this lot coming around here, Alpha Nether. Well, second place was Martin Baker and Shane Cannon, but I'm going to leave that third place to our official lap scorers. What a battle for the finish that was. The short end, some good, exciting finals this afternoon. Mick O'Donnell and Gordon, Kai Hallhouse bringing up the rear. The official result of race number 20 was a win for number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. In second place, number nine, Martin Baker and Shane Cann. In third place, by a whisker, number one, Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. In fourth place, number 17, Dave Steer. And Ian Weil, and in fifth place, number 97, Mick O'Donnell, and Guy Aldhouse.
No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 21.38. From the top, 24, 9, 1, 17, 97. Winner's time, 1 minute 21.38. 500 cc solos back out again already and on the line. We're looking for net number 86, Paul Hurry, who had a win. I thought first time out. Colin White, third place, number 179, Simon Gittings, 
Fourth place, number 12, Richard Musson. Fifth place, number 214, John Wilson. Sixth place, number 331, Paul Watson. Seventh place, number 971, Dean Norton. Eighth place, number 24, Paul Stybritz. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 30.12. From the top, 84, 31, 179, 12, 214, 331. 971 and 24. No other finishes. The winner's time. One minute 30. Point one two. Race number 23 gets underway. Mark Castle leads. Philip Banks there in second place, and then Robin Ledger holding third. Mark Castle leads. Banks. That's Mark Castle. Being taken by Trevor Banks into that turn. So Trevor Banks going for gold this time. Can he get through to the final with a no point score in his first run? It's Trevor Banks, it's Mark Chessel, Adrian Muller, Ricky Sanders, Trevor Banks, 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 Around that turn they come, there's plenty of room up there on that turn as it's Trevor Banks, Mark Chessel, Ricky Sanford, Adrian Muller, Chris Underhill, Robert Beckley, Trevor Banks, in the wing way, he missed out on the first leg, not too sure what his problem was there, but he's got no problems in this one. Last lap then from Trevor Banks, Mark Chessel. Ricky Sanford, Adrian Mower, Robert Mitchell, Jason Wilby, so around that last turn for the last time, the checkered flag the inmate ready for Trevor Banks, he takes the win, second place going to 758 Mark Castle, in 04 Ricky Sanford, 154 Adrian Mower, 39 Robert Bedwick, 65 Jason Wilby, 139 David Mears, and then 72, Kevin Diego, on the by, keeps matching up official result in just a moment. Trevor Banks, in second place, number 758, Mark Chessel. In third place, number 04, Ricky Sanford. Fourth place, 154, Adrian Muller. Fifth place, number 39, Robert Ledwith. Sixth place, number 65, Jason Wilby. Sixth place, number 65, Sorry, 6 is 65, Jason will be 7th is 1. Race 24 gets underway and then down there first straight they come and pass the commentary box. It's 374, Adrian Stevens to the top of the in second place. They continue their way round. Grass track in the sunshine, it's looking lovely. 374, Adrian Stevens, 721, Alan Harmer. Then David Carr. Then Martin Jason comes to the Secret of the World Championship. I don't understand why Ben Hill is so far behind, but uh, obviously not having his best of days. But having a better day is 374, Adrian Stevens from Alan Harmer. And then David Carr. And then Martin Jason comes to the Secret of the World Championship. Come in the last lap flag show is Adrian Stevens from Alan Harmer, David Clark, Martin Jacobs, Duncan Collins, Chris Foot, Ben Howe, Robin Pilcher. Yeah. The rain has changed as they continue their way round into the last turn for the last time. It's not a comfortable win for Adrian Stevens. He squirts the motor on out of that turn. He's going like a steam train. 374, Adrian Stevens wins from 721 Alan Harmer, from David Clark, then Martin Jacobs, Duncan Collard, Ben Howe, Robin Pilcher, and Chris Tripp bringing up the rear. Official result back to non starters in race number 25, 217, Philip and Richard Davis, and 125, Ernie and James Benfold. And Tony Dees is with two, and it's the current British champion, John Fish and Gary Moore, and Lenny Bora and Martin Carr. So. And 
like it was some kind of runoff for a world that's been by individual title. John Fish getting a bit more of an advantage on that back straight. The current, as I said, reigning British champions, John Fish and Gary Moore on that 1,000cc Yamaha X-Up engine outfit, followed by a four-cylinder Suzuki. John Fish and Gary Moore, the current British champion, leading the back, or leading the way from Lenny Bora and Martin Carr. And Lenny Bora, we haven't seen him for a few seasons. He seems to have been missing for a couple of three years, but Rip Rora Bora, as they called him, is back with a vengeance. Riding Martin Cuff's bike with Martin Cuff on the side. So, one, two, three. John Fish and Gary Moore lead up that back straight, past the pits, and Rip Rora Bora and Martin Cuff coming around in second place. Last map flag goes for the British champions then. John Fish and Gary Moore making easy work of this one. Rip Rora Bora on his way to the second place. The revs coming out of that X-Up engine, that Yamaha FZR 1000R X-Up engine of John Fish's bike as he squirts the motor on into that corner. See it, throw that dirt out back. A win for the running British champions, John Fish and Gary Moore, from Rip Rora Bora and Martin Cuff in second place. He's in the driving seat at the moment. After the first leg, it was in no doubt Peter Carr. 129.49 now it's Peter Carr with 126.27 so Peter Carr getting faster as the day goes on even Trevor Banks' time at 1 minute 30.37 is a long long way short of Peter Carr's fastest time with 126.27 Left-hand sidecar is doing battle then again in this, the third leg. Many more starters in this one. As they lead towards the first turn, it's that man again, Tom Van Vold and Liam Trivers that lead into the first turn. But the previous two-time two seat winner of Luke Patrick and Junior Brown is in the line and are around there now in last position. Let's follow their progress as they make their way through the field. Tom Penvold and Liam Shivers lead. Luke Patchell takes up one from the back. So, round they come then. Tom Penvold and Liam Shivers from Bill Penvold and Nigel Shaw. Then 108, Bob and Keith Miles. Then 151, Graham Hilton and Bob Aker. And then number 808, Luke Patchell and Liam Shivers. Nigel Patchell's about to take Graham Hilton on the outside as they come into that next turn. And he does so, but out in front. It's 24. Tom Penfold with Liam Shivers, then Billy Penfold with Nigel Shaw, then Bob and Keith Miles. And Graham Hill got back in front of uh, Luke Patchell again. So Luke Patchell really having a struggle on through the tail end of this field. And of course, while he's not getting past those, he's not making the ground up on the front runners either. So it's 24. Tom Penfold and Liam Shivers from Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, from Bob Heath and Keith, uh, Bob and Keith Miles. Then Luke, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in now moves up into fourth place. That's the checkered flag is being made ready, all ready, and it's too soon for Luke Patchell, I'm sure. Around that top turn they come then, this third win of the afternoon for number 24, Tom Penfold and Liam Shivers. And the third to second place of the afternoon to Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Then 108, Bob and Keith Miles, then Luke Patchell and Junior Browning. Then 151, Graham Hill and Bob Aker. I think we've got to see the old Carly Bird uh, Matthew Dewey somewhere in that race. An official result for you in a moment. Result. There was, in fact, a win for number 173. Sorry, another race. Well, that's a win for number 24. Tom.
Penfold and Liam Chivers in second place. Number two, Bill Penfold. And Nigel Shaw in third place, 108, Bob Miles and Keith Miles. Fourth place, 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Browning. Fifth place, 151, Graham Hilton and Bob Ager. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 40.90. From the top, 24, 2, 108, 808, 151. No other finishes, 1 minute 40.90. And the 250cc's, it sounds like they're back in action. 229, Richie Knight from Stephen Hines. Now, Stephen Hines has had two wins here this afternoon. Richie Knight has had one win, I believe. So, looking for better things here. But 76, John Dorman has come streaking through into second place. He's not had the rest of afternoon so far, so we'd like to uh, stamp some authority on this race. But Stephen Hines has got it all his own way at the moment. It's 23. Stephen Hines on the Yamaha, from 76. John Dormer on the Honda, from Richie Knight. Lee still Suzuki mounted. So, 23, Stephen Hines from 76, John Dormer, 229, Richie Knight, 34, Colin Howe. The 33, Richard Smith in problems. He's had two very good rides so far this afternoon, but he's lost a lot of ground in this one, and he and the aim is not having the best of days behind him. And Alan Dan bringing up the rear. So the last lap flag being made ready as they come round there now. It's 23, Stephen Hines that leads. From 76, John Dormer and his motor seems to be slowing, then Richie Knight, and then Colin Howe. Heading in the aim is Dan Richard Smith. And number 20, Adam Dan. So out comes the checkered flag. And a fine win for number 23, Stephen Hines on the Yamaha. From John Dormer on the Honda. Richie Knight on the Suzuki and Colin Howe, believe on another Yamaha. And in the aim is Dan Richard Smith and Alan Dan. Number 27 then, a good win there for number 23, Stephen Hines. In second place, 76, John Dormer. Third place, 229, Richie Knight. Fourth place, number 34, Colin Howe. Fifth place, 183, Ian the aim is. Sixth place, number 33, Richard Smith. Seventh place, number 20, Alan Dan. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 34.16. From the top, 23, 76, 229, 34, 183, 33, and 20. 1 minute 34.16. Race number 28. Race number 28 coming up to the line. And indeed it's gone off the line. And down the first straight they come past the comments of Dodger stage at Leakin with a wind to his credit already. But Dean Camion nips up on the inside round that turn. So Dean Camion leads. David Deacon in second place. Stephen Farrell in third. Arthur Evans in fourth. Then Colin Beacon. And Peter Bassett coming up the rear. So around that turn they come and Dean Camion slides a little bit wide. Can David Leakin get up on the inside? He does and he's through. David Leakin takes up the lead from 44. Dean Camion from Stephen Sirett. Steve Camion going up on the inside now. David Leakin, can he get there? He's going around the outside. He's gone past. He's back in command. It's 44. Dean Camion from David Leakin. And David Leakin hasn't given up yet. He's aiming everything that he can to try and get past Dean Camion. Dean Camion leads. David Leakin in second place. And Stephen Syrett. And then back to Arthur Living. Look at those front two runners. They're trying everything they know to get in front or stay in front. Dean Camier seems to have gained a bit of advantage around that turn. Dean Camier leads. David Leakin coming hard after him in second place. Last lap play goes this time. It's 44. Dean Camier from 40. David Leakin. And then Stephen Syrett. Well, I've never seen David Leakin right in this centre before, but uh, be a welcome man when he returns. Certainly put on a good show for himself this afternoon. Dean Camier leads. David Leakin tries again in that second place. Really coming up on terms. Can he get there? Slap out of that turn. The mad dash to the finish. Can he do it? Dean Camier wins. David Leakin, a very good second place to him. Then Stephen Syrett. Arthur Living and Colin Beachin and Peter Bassett. Dean 
Cameo. In second place, number 40, David Leakin. In third place, number 62, Stephen Syrett. Fourth place, number 71, Arthur Levins. Fifth place, number 61, Colin Beeching. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 36.28. From the top, 44, 40, 62, 71, 61. No other finishes. 1 minute 36.28. On to the last of the 250cc solo legs. And those riders come into the line now. Stephen King, Mark Giles, Terry Giles, Dave Mears, Jason Stott, Mike Appleton, Ian Rutter and Terry Howe. Be interesting to see if we do get Mike Appleton and uh, Jason Stott as they were both fallers in the second leg. Time will turn off they go down that first straight. Mike Appleton's there in the middle. Jason Stott's right alongside him. And Ian Rutter takes it the lead into that first turn. It's Ian Rutter from Mike Appleton, from Jason Stott, from Terry Giles. So Ian Rutter performing better as the day goes on. Memory served me correctly. He had two second places earlier on and he's out in the lead now. So he's getting better as the day continues. Number nine, Ian Rutter. From 558, five, Mike Appleton, then 94, Jason Stott, then Terry Howe and David Mears, then Terry Giles, and then Stephen King at the back. Mm. Round they come then, flat out round that turn, and Ian Rutter takes a bit of a whoopsie and goes to the line out wide. Mike Appleton comes up on the inside. Not quite enough to get there, though. As they go into that next turn, Mike Appleton's really thrown it sideways into that turn, takes up the lead from Ian Rutter, and Ian Rutter goes out wide. Jason Stott's gone through on the inside, and Ian Rutter's back into third place. Oh, that was a mistake he couldn't afford to make. Mind you, those two folders not scoring any points in their second ride, so they'll need all the points they can get in this to make the final. So is Mike Appleton from Jason Stott, from Ian Rutter, from Terry Howe, from Terry Giles, from David Mears, and Stephen King. So Mike Appleton again takes up the lead at the front there, ahead of Jason Stott, and it's not all over yet as they come into that last turn. Anything can happen. Remember, they both fell off here last time, but they're around safely this time. It's 558, five, Mike Appleton that wins. 94, Jason Stott takes second place. And Ian Rutter gets third. Terry Howe fourth, Terry Giles fifth, David Mears sixth, and Stephen King in seventh place. Back with the official result in a moment. <laughs> For number 558, five, Mike Appleton. In second place, number 94, Jason Stott. In third place, number 9, Ian Rutter. In fourth place, number 32, Terry Howe. In fifth place, number 300, Terry Giles. Sixth place, 139, David Mears. Seventh place, number 66, Steve King. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 36.30. From the top, 558, five, 94, 9, 32, 300, 139 and 66. No other finishes. 1 minute 36.30. Looking across to the other side of the field, and the right hand side cars come out from the pits to do battle. We should get Colin Hutton and Ian Salter, Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith, Martin Baker and Shane Can, Gary Moon and Steve Robbins, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, Peter Colvin and Adam Coper Smith. That's the lineup for race number 30. Well, very swiftly we move through the program here this afternoon and uh, with 40 races in the program and we are at three quarters distance already. Slick organisation this afternoon from the Fritton and District Motorcycle Club. With this, the Fritton and Flyer, 1992. And away they go and down that first straight, Martin Baker and Shane Can get the best of the start from Rob Cameron and Swerve Smith in second place and then Pete Cole in the Rob Cameron's already up the inside of Martin Baker and going to gold. He's through into first place. It's Rob Cameron and Steve Smith that lead. From Martin Baker and Shane Can in second place. Then Pete Colvin and Adam Cover Smith. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. Colin Hutton and Ian Salter. As they come round that turn, it's number one. Rob Cameron and Sir Smith that lead. From Martin Baker and Shane Can in second place. And then 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Cover Smith. 
And then the vocal lads are going from Staplehurst, just up the road there. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And from the Eastern Centre, number three, Connie Hunt and Ian Salter. So the last match, Langer really goes through that number one. Robert Cameron is third, from number nine, Martin Baker and Shane Cairn. And 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Cooper Smith. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, then Colin Hutton and Ian Salter. So we're on that turn, they're coming slightly early, sliding wide, but he's going to get there. He's crossing the line for a win. Number one, Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. Bob, Martin Baker and Shane Cairn. Pete Colvin and Adam Cooper Smith. Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And Colin Hutton and Ian Salter bringing up the rear. Back in a moment with the official result. The win for number one, Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith. In second place, number nine, Martin Baker and Shane Can. In third place, number 99, Peter Colvin and Adam Cooper Smith. In fourth place, number 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And in fifth place, number three, Colin Hutton and Ian Salter. No six finisher. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.11. From the top, 1. 9, 99, 32, and 3. No six finisher, 1 minute 22.11. On to race number 31, and again it's the right-hand sidecar cruise, and we get Richard Jenner and Nick Walters, Tim Bennett and Jason Benny, Mick O'Donnell and Guy Aldhouse, Dave Steer and Ian Weil, Stephen Turner and Tony Raceby, and Andrew Nourish and Mick Redhill, who haven't been out so far this afternoon. Round the turn they come, it's race number 31. Down that first straight they go. Into that first turn. Number 17, Dave Steer and Mick Weil. Yeah, all right. Dave Steer and Ian Weil. Going into the first turn there, coming out of it and round the next turn. And it's number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie in second place with Richard Jenner and Nick Walters pushing hard in third. And then Mick O'Donnell. And Guy Orton. And now round that turn, it's number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Weil. From Tim Bennett, Jason Kelly, Richard Jenner and Nick Walters, Mick O'Donnell, and Guy Oldhouse bringing up the rear. So those positions remaining unchanged as the race continues. Looks like Richard Jenner and Nick Walters have a problem and lost the whole degree of not Tim Bennett here. Last lap they go, they just one lap remaining in. Number 17, Dave Steer and Ian White, from 12, Tim Bennett, Jason Glennie, Richard Jenner and Nick Walters. And then number 97, Mick O'Donnell and Kyle Hill. Back down there, they turn the company, check it, flag it in there. Nice, it's a win for number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Wilde. From number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Benny. A7, Rich Jenner and Nick Walters. And Mick O'Donnell and Guy Hallhouse bringing up the rear. Official result back with you very shortly. Number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Weil. In second place, number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny. In third place, number 87, Richard Jenner and Nick Walters. And in fourth place, number 97, Mick O'Donnell and Guy Hallhouse. No fifth or six finishes. Winners time, 1 minute 24 seconds precisely. From the top, 17, 12, 87. 97, 1 minute 24 precisely. Looking on to race number 32, the right hand side cars, we get Rob Wilson and Vince Jones, Bob and Paul Baseby, Jerry Adams and Sean Pitto. And that should be the whole lineup, three outfits to go in this one. And away they go down that first straight. Bob and Paul Baseby make the best of the start, but Rob Wilson and Vince Jones squeeze past on the inside on the entrance of that first. And Paul Baseby in second, and then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock holding third. 
Then it's the front, and then the man in front is Kevin Butt from Diary Hello and the Frenchman from 758 Mark Chessel from John Wilson. So Thari Hilaire puts his way through on the inside of Kevin Buck. Can he get there? He's got through. 69 Thari Hilaire and the last lap flag is in command. From 327 Kevin Buck. From 758 Mark Chessel. 214 John Wilson and Martin Jacob. There's that now. And Chris Walby. So Thari Hilaire and the Frenchman takes up the run in. Must be all that contact trick. Round he comes. Nice tight line there for Thyria there. The Frenchman wins. 327. Kevin Buck takes second place. Then Mark Chessel. Then John Wilson. Martin Jacobs. Then Howe. And Chris Walby. And Gary Hendrickson bringing up the rear there. For number 69, Thyria Lear in second place. Number 327, Kevin Buck. Third place, 758, Mark Chessel. Fourth place, number 214, John Wilson. Fifth place, number 14, Martin Jacobs. Sixth place, number 244, Ben Howe. Seventh place, 123, Chris Walby. And in eighth place, number 121, Gary Hendrickson. No 9 4 10 finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 29.48. From the top, 69, 327, 758, 214, 14, 244, 123, and 121. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 29.48. On to race number 35. Bit of a hold up there on the line. We look for Phil Morris, Neil Scopes, Colin White, Duncan Tollers, Kevin Massingham, Kevin Tiaga, Keith Massingham actually, Jason Wilby, David Clark, Peter Carr, Alan Harmer and Chris Pitt. So Peter Carr in second place at the moment. Working his way around. And Phil Morris, so he's up into the lead now. Peter Carr going for gold. Fastest man, put up the fastest time of the day in both legs. And he's really going for it here this afternoon. It's Peter Carr from Phil Morris, from Duncan Collins, from Chris Tritt. Well, Peter Carr seems to have it all his own way there at the moment. He's really going to look in like being a 1992 Britain in Flyer. From Phil Morris in second place, from Colin Bryant. He's been going very well this afternoon and uh, seems to have gotten mixed up with the tail enders in this one. Peter Carley on his last lap from A4, Phil Morris from David Clark and then Colin White. So Peter Carr, the Sheffield Speedway rider, showing the grass boys the way home here this afternoon. Looks every inch of flyer champion as he comes round that last turn. Clips in tight by the pegs, winds up the motor. A win for Peter Carr, from Phil Morris in second, then David Clark, then Colin White, then Neil Stokes, then Alan Harmer, Duncan Collins, Chris Tritt, Kevin Tiaga, and Keith Massingham. Race number 35, then race number 35. A fine win there for number two, his third win of the afternoon, Sheffield Speedway rider, Peter Carr. In second place, number 84, Phil Morris. In third place, number seven, David Clark. In fourth place, number 31, Colin White. In fifth place, number 15, Neil Scopes. In sixth place, number 721, Alan Harmer. In seventh place, number 74, Duncan Tollers. In eighth place, number three, Chris Tritton, 972, Kevin Tiaga, and 10 117, Keith Massingham. On to race number 36. Get on the way of the bank. Leading from Paul Howley in second place. Tom Hitting there in third, then Chris Underhill. So around that turn they come, and Trevor Banks making the dust fly. Trevor Banks from Paul Howley, from Simon Gidding, from Chris Underhill. So around he comes, it's Trevor Banks trying to make the final with just two races. 
two racing, so will it be enough to make a final? It's the other way. And Paul Hurry and Simon Given it to be going to wind it up that motor, he's flat out round there as he comes up to the line. Starting his last lap now, it's Trevor Hanks from Paul Hurry, from Simon Gidding, Adrian Stevens, Ricky Sanford, Rick Underhill, Robin Pilcher. So Trevor Hanks in full flight, blocking that right up sideways. He's won the last two Britain flyers in a row. What's going to happen here this afternoon? Will he have enough points to take the final? It's 20, it's a number four, Trevor Banks, from A6, Paul Hurry, Simon Giddings, Adrian Stevens, Ricky Sanford, Chris Underhill, and Robin Pilcher. Well, back to you in a moment with the result, and then it's end of all time. Well, it sounds like I've got some action started up behind me, so on with the headset, and away we go. This is the left-hand sidecar flyer final, the left-hand sidecar flyer final. And we're looking for 24, Tom Penfold, Liam Chivers, clean through the day. 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in two. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw, 108. Bob and Keith Miles, 173. John Fish, Carry Moore, 126. Rip Roar, Bora. And Martin Carr. Luke Patchell goes into an early lead. Patchell and Julian Brown in lead, Tom, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers in second place. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw gone out, doesn't have the chains off. I can see Nigel looking down desperately at that back wheel and there's definitely trouble afoot there for that crew. 808 then, Luke Patchell and Julian Brown in from 24. Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers from 173, the Jewish champions, John Fish and Gary Moore. And Bob and Keith Miles. So Luke Patchell and Julian Brown come round that top turn, making a bit of dust fly as they come round there now. They come up to take <laughs> their second lap. It's 808. Luke Patchell, Julian Brown in from 24. Liam, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers. Then John Fish and Gary Moore. Someone sees Miles. Lenny Bora and Martin Carr. They come in, he's flat out round that turn, 808. Luke Patchell and Julian Browning from 24. Tom Penfold, Liam Chivers, then John Fish and Gary Vaughan, and Bob Miles, Keith Miles, and then Bora and Martin Cup bringing up the rear. Those positions remaining unchanged as the race continues. Look at Bob Miles going past John Fish as I say that up that back straight. Bob Miles getting into the gist of it. 108. Luke Pashaw and Julian Brown in from 24, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers. In 108, Bob and Keith Miles. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. And Lenny Bora. And Martin Cup bring out the rear there. Well, there's all action in the, on the front line as they come round there. Tom Penfold is closing up now on Luke Pashaw. The last lap flag goes. It's Luke Pashaw and Julian Brown in from Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Luke Patchell seems to have the uh, advantage there at the moment. They head towards the last turn for the last time. It's Luke Patchell and Julian Browning. Tommy Panfold and Ian Pivot coming very hard, going right around the outside. They're flat out and going for it to come down to the last straight. Luke Patchell and Julian Browning win. From 24. Tom Penfold and Ian Chivers. Incredible second place to them. 108, Bob and Keith Miles. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. And then 126, Lenny Bora and Martin Carr. Four number 808. Luke Patchell and Julian Browning. In second place, number 24, Tom Penfold and Liam Chivers. Third place, 108. Uh, Bob and Keith Miles. Fourth place, 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Fifth place, 126, Lenny Bora. And Martin Carr. No six finisher. The winner's time, 2 minutes, 29.13. From the top, 808, 24, 108, 173, 126. Winner's time, 2 minutes, 29.13.
Away we go to 250cc solo final is on its way down the first straight as they come past the commentary box is John Dorman the leads with David Bleakin on his right shoulder and Ricky Knight there was on his left shoulder but it's John Dorman going for gold at the moment with Stephen Hines right there on his back wheel. So a big battle going on for about fifth and sixth place there as those boys come round that turn. It's all hell for leather. It's 23, Stephen Hines going up the inside of John Dorman now. And John Dorman fights back with David Leakin then in third. And then Richard Smith and then Ricky Knight and then Dean Camion. First look at that front line battle there, shoulder to shoulder. And they're not giving an inch. It's John Dorman. No, it's Stephen Hines now. Stephen Hines has taken the advantage in that turn. On the Yamaha powered machine. Powers it out of that corner, flying down that straight. Stephen Hines from John Dormer, from David Bleakin, from Ian Rutter, Ricky Knight, Richard Smith, Dean Camier, Terry Howe. John Dormer again tries to end the outside, but they're coming fast and furious around that turn. Stephen Hines drifts a bit wide, John Dormer tucks up on the inside, what's going to happen here? It's just still Stephen Hines, John Dormer, John Dormer trying to get on the inside of Stephen Hines, and he goes through. John Dormer is through, Stephen Hines cracks the throttle and comes back underneath him, and Stephen Hines again is through. What a fantastic race this quarter leader event has turned out to be. It's fun all the way, it's exciting, and round the turn they come, flat out. Stephen Hines leads John Dormer. And then David Bleakin putting in a good appearance in third, then Ricky Knight, then Richard Smith, then Dean Camier, and Stephen Starin. And Terry Howell, Terry Giles, and David Mears. We've got one of the Howe boys, I'm not sure. Round we come, it's 23, Stephen Hines on the last lap flag, ahead of John Dormer in second place, then David Bleakin, then Ricky Knight, then Richard Smith, then Dean Camion, Stephen Cyrus, Terry Howe, Terry Giles, and David Mears. Welcome around that last turn for the last time. He's going for gold, he's opened up flat out for glory. Stephen Hines wins. John Dormer takes second place, David Bleakin gets third, then Richie Knight, then Dean Camier, then Richard Smith, Stephen Cyrus, Terry Howe, Terry Giles and David Mears. Well that was exciting fighting for the 250cc class and uh, Stephen Hines, the 1992 winner of the 250cc Britain Flyer. The rest of the result in a moment. From the top, 23, 76, 40, 229, 44, 33, 62, 32, 300, 139. Winner's time, 2 minutes, 16.50. On to the Fritton and Flyer right-hand side car final, and the competitors here are 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Number 1, Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. Number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. Number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby. Number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Weil. And number 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pettit. Bikes proving up on the line there. I see Tim Bennett getting eager to get away. Away go the tapes and down that first straight they go. Who's it going to be? Rob Wilson makes the best of the start. Rob Cameron and Steve Smith tucking in second place. Number one, Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. And Dave Steer and Ian Whale, Bob and Paul Baseby. Then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock, and then Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie at the back. And Ian Wilde, then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock, then Bob and Paul Baseby, and then Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. So round they come in, then it's turned very fast and easy, then Chris Mosler and Rob Wilson. Lanny out as he comes around now, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones still leading. From number one, Rob Cameron, Steve Smith, then number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Wilde. Then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. Then Bob and Paul Baseby and then Tim Bennett and Jason Bennett. Third against Glenn Hill, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones from... Rob Cameron. 
and Steve Smith. The battle that Rob's is on, but Rob Wilson certainly seems to have it sussed at the moment as they come round that turn. They're going to be looking for the last back bag. Then Bob and Paul Baseby, then Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. <laughs> so this is the last turn for the last time and it's victory goes to Roger. This is going to 1992 Lyle winners. Followed quite convincingly by number one, Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. And then Dave Steer and Ian Weil. Back with the official result in just a moment. Fine on another. Good race there and a fine win for number 24. Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. In second place, number one, Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. In third place, number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Weil. In fourth place, number 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pitter. In fifth place, number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby. And in sixth place, number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. The winner's time, two minutes, 04 seconds, precisely. Two minutes and four seconds, precisely. From the top, 24, 1, 17, 55, 60 and 12. Two minutes and four seconds, precisely. <laughs> On to race number 40, it's the last race of the afternoon, so make the most of this one. Please remember to take your litter home with you, or at least put it in the bags provided. And we have a large number of riders up on the line already. We're looking for number two, Peter Carr. 69, Thyria there. 84, Phil Morris. 86, Paul Hurry. Number 12, Richard Musson. 215, Steve Wilson. Number 7, David Carr. 374, Adrian Stevens, 758, Mark Chessel, 31, Colin White, 179, Simon Gittings, and number 14, Martin Jacobs. The revs rise, but uh, not everybody's going anywhere just yet. Well, some of them have, apparently. <laughs> The revs rise, see the smoke and the back of machines, the tapes have gone and are on the way, a nice even break as they head towards that first turn. Who's he going to be that gets there? It's Peter Carr that gets there in front. Peter Carr, hot favourite for this one with three heat wins to his credit. That's the first three. Fritton and Fly looks like it could be going out of centre this year. Round they come then, it's Peter Carr. From Phil Morris, from Paul Harry, Simon Giddings, Adrian Stevens, and Richard Munson. Munson and Richard Munson will be further up the field than that. Peter Carr is on his way there. And Phil Morris is having trouble now with Paul Harry. Paul Harry is nipped up the inside, can he get there? But Peter Carr looks over his shoulder to see where the opposition is, and Paul Harry is there. Paul Harry is through to second place. And Gary Carr, Peter Carr, the Sheffield Speedway rider, is on his way to victory. Peter Barrow Speedway rider there in second place. Paul Hurry, our French friend Fiery Hilaire is on the centre green with problems. That's bad luck for him. But no problems at the moment for Peter Carr, who's on his way to victory. It's Peter Carr from Paul Hurry, Phil Morris, Simon Gidding, Richard Mutton, Adrian Stephen. And they are definitely all on their way. Looking to my left, coming out of that turn, looks over his shoulder again to see where Paul Hurry is, but it's Peter Reid from Paul Hurry. From Paul Morris in a little bit of a problem there, and Simon Giddings and Richard Mutton side by side. Richard Mutton seems to get the advantage around that turn and changes after Paul Morris. But there's all actions on the front line as they come round, it's the action track. Round they come, it's number two, Peter Reid. From 86, Paul Hurry, starting their last lap. Can Paul Hurry do enough to get in? He's closing up the gap, he's coming around there very fast. But he's got a lot of work to do and only one corner left to do it in. It's going to be Peter Carr's fire. Peter Carr enters the last turn for the last time. That's a nice tight line round there. It's Peter Carr's fire. Paul Hurry takes second place. A long gap then back to battling Phil Morris. 
then Richard Mutton, then Simon Giddings, then Adrian Stevens, then Steve Wilson, David Clark, Martin Jacobs, Colin White, and so ends the 1992 flyer. Race number 40. Race number 40. The official result of the last race of the afternoon. And it was a fine win there for number two, Sheffield Speedway rider, Peter Carr. In second place, the Peterborough Panther, 86, Paul Hurry. In third place, number 84, Phil Morris. Fourth place, number 12, from Wolverhampton Speedway, Richard Musson. In fifth place, number 179, Simon Gittings. Sixth place, 374, Adrian Stevens. Seventh place, 215, Steve Wilson. Eighth place, number seven, as the mind goes blank, and, uh, David Clark. Ninth place, number 14, Martin Jacobs. And tenth place, number 31, Colin White. No other finishes. The winner's time, 2 minutes, 07.84. From the top, 2, 86, 84, 12, 179, 374, 215, 7, 14, 31. No other finishes. The winner's time, 2 minutes, 07.84.